Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, it is time for us to stand against the wise of darkness. The imagination of darkness must be cast down. It is time. This is a message for choosing children of God, the armies of the Lord. The armies of the Lord. The armies of the Lord. It is time for us to stand. I hear this word so strongly. Authorities are speaking against the people of God. Wherever they are positioned, they always want to speak against the people of God. Who are the authorities? There are everywhere. Community itself that we live in, they have authorities. Even this neighborhood, they have community authorities. The the different sectors, they have authorities. Jobs, everywhere, they are there. They are there. God have me to speak to us. This is deep. It is time for us to arise. Because the time for us to possess our possession is now. It does not need to tarry any longer. It has tarried for so long and we have waited for it. The Bible says wait for it and we have waited. We have waited. There are author- I'm speaking this word. You know, the spirit of the Lord is just, oh, let God be praised. Hallelujah. Authorities are speaking against the chosen children of God. Have you asked yourself, why do they hate us so much? Why do they oppose us so much? Why? Because they see us as their competition. They see us as their threat. They know who we serve. They know. We must keep taking authority against every satanic authorities that are speaking against the chosen one. That is why God brought you this far. You are not a lukewarm Christian anymore. You need to keep the fire burning now. You need to keep that. You are not a lukewarm Christian. You are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy anymore. Now you are at the front line. You cannot be at the front line and be careless. You will get killed. Don't you know? A soldier cannot be at the front line and be careless. He will get killed. So we can't be careless. At this point. At this stage where we are right now. At this level that God has brought in us to right now. You understand? So we cannot just be careless. Hallelujah. This is very serious. You look at the film industry. There is no Christian movies. The authority there, they speak against the Christian movies. You look at the children's sector. There is no Christian movie there. They remove it and they put the one that our children will watch and they will become something else. You look at the government sectors, there is no born again. There is no true chosen child of God. They remove those and they put themselves there. You go to places of job that that, that, that is hard before you can find a real child of God in a good position. Authorities are speaking against the chosen children of God, and this must be handled immediately. Hallelujah. You want to know there is a brother that was looking for a job, and this brother, I think it's a company, everywhere he goes, they will tell him to join a court before they will give him the job. And he refused, and he remained unemployed. He they will ask him he had to belong to the court meeting. It's not just a meeting, they hold and they drink beer, or they drink wine, they, they toast, oh, I love it. No. I miss satanic something. This is somebody I know. This is somebody that I know that is related to me. It is not somebody told me I had it. And we were praying. 
This brother will call me and say, ah, see you. They took everybody. They did not take him. I said, stay, stand still. When it is your turn, you will get it. Authorities that are speaking against the chosen children of God. The moment he told them that I am born again, all hell break loose. And he told me one thing. He said the one that he went last, the man took him somewhere. He said when they get to this place, he said he don't even know where that place was. He quickly had to pray and say, God, bring me out of here. Because he had to use wisdom and tell them, let me quickly go home and come back. Because if he do anything, they will kill him. If he tried to leave, he just used to say, ah, I will come back, I'll come back. And they said, okay, go and come back. He ran. And the money they were going to pay him is very big. But it comes with a price. When you see me pray against a cutty cut, I'll be like, ah, what is a cutty? And he told me that the man that took him there was a deacon in the church. That was even his own comfort. That this one is in born again. We go to the same church together. A deacon that sat at the front was the man that took him there. <laughs> oh God. When I say we pray, people are like, they said I pray too much. He chat too much. He chat too much. Chat too much. He's always chatting. Fire, 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 fire. I'm not starting. If it is not for this, my voice, that I'm always having this code because I'm not good with code. This country is very cold because I, I was not born in a cold place, you know. So I struggle with it a lot. And sometimes my nose, my throat, everything is full of, uh, is blocked every time you hear me doing. <coughs> because I'm not good. I'm not good with cold at all. Anything cold. Even if it's summer, when I have a little cold, a little enter, maybe swimming pool, a little cold, a little cold. I will start having all of that, you know. It's just like allergic. I've, I've done all the necessary tests that is not in them. They said maybe because I'm not used to the weather. But I just leave it in the hands of God because God is the one that controls weather. You understand? <laughs> she shot too much. Fire, 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 fire. And this brother, until he was able to meet with an assistant pastor. And the assistant pastor said he don't want anyone that do a court, that do this, because the man knows what they do in that business. He said no, and the man said, I'm going to pay you so, so money. And the money the man was going to pay him now was not like reduced to like minus theory of what the occulted people were going to pay him. And he told me, I said, go. Yeah, the Lord will give you peace. Whatever you end there, you'll be comfortable. You will not be sleeping and be thinking how you will appear in an occultic world. Your salvation is important than that money. He said many people have joined. Many of his friends, they sold their soul. Because they want the job and they want it very with a huge salary. These are authorities that I'm talking about in different, different places that are speaking. This must be handled immediately. I'm going to take this to prayers as well by the help of the Lord. Maybe on prayer session, if the Lord permits, we must pray that every evil authority that are taking decision against you that is hearing me, we pull it down in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.